All right, so I don't claim to be an expert with any of this silly moped stuff, but I use this method to adjust my clutch. Um, it's based on a guide that I found online a couple years ago. I don't know if it's still up, but uh, essentially you get a mechanical fish scale. It's easier than the digital ones because the mechanical one you can see, you know, gradation. Um, anchor it to something sturdy. Uh, you can use the edge of a work table or, you know, I'm using the rail for my garage door. And you essentially just hang the clutch by one of the shoes. Uh, each shoe has a little, little hole that goes clear through the clutch body. And you want to figure out what, what weight, what amount of tension it takes to get that little rubber foot on the inside of the shoe to dis disengage from uh, the center hub. So as you pull down on the clutch body, um, you know, pull straight down, don't pull at an angle or whatever, don't hold on to the other shoe as you're pulling it down because then it's hard to see. But you're trying to find the tension that it takes to get uh, that shoe to disengage. It's hard to, hard to do. You know, one-handed here because my hand shakes a little bit. But you see how it, it lifts up there? Um, let's see, what's it, what's it at? So it lifts up around 25 pounds, give or take. What you would do then is, now that you've got one, I don't know if you can tell, I scratched a little B into that one. There's a C scratched into that, and I think I tried to scratch an A there. After you set one, you go and you set the other two the same way, the same tension, the same weight. You want them all to be balanced so that as the uh, clutch is spinning, they all expand at the same time. Um, and that's what this is for. You're, you're adjusting the shoe from this little screw here, and that'll either increase or decrease the tension on uh, the spring. Um, and it, it, that's pretty much it. I figure it's self-explanatory. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I can better explain any of the, the mechanics of it, but that's all you need to do. I have mine um, set at actually 40 pounds each because I'm not a small guy and we have a lot of hills. But I, I dialed this back to 25 just so you could sort of see what you're looking for there. Um, now if you have... If you have a two-shoe clutch, um, the shoes are, are are symmetrical. They're they're opposite each other. It's not this you know sort of three three portion thing. Three portion, three division. Think of this as like a pie, right? So this is cut into thirds. But if you have the two-shoe clutch, they're opposite each other. And what you can do after you've adjusted the two of them, right? You see how this this back edge of the shoe sort of sticks out past the uh, the frame of the the clutch itself what you can do is you can put that you can put it the whole the whole unit in a vise and pinch it at the back side of the shoe here and then the back side of the shoe on this side remember if it's a if it's a two shoe clutch and what what you do is you squeeze the vise ever so slightly and you can see both um, both shoes engage simultaneously and if one if one comes off of that center hub before the other you know you can tighten it up a little bit and get it perfectly balanced um, but you know maybe that's maybe that's too meticulous for some people uh, it, I, it works fantastic for me for a two-shoe clutch I usually use a two-shoe clutch the only reason I have a three-shoe in my hand is because it's not installed in my bike um, but yeah that's that's the basic basic method of tightening the clutch. It's not overly complicated. It's just time consuming to always, you know, take it off the bike, leave the bike someplace where it's not going to drip the, uh, the tranny fluid everywhere, adjust it, put it back in, put it back together, realize that you tuned it too tight or not tight enough, take it all apart, do it again. But hey, that's, uh, that's mopeds, isn't it? Good luck.